what is going on everybody and welcome back to mad detailing today's video is on this dodge journey and this has got to be by far one of the nastiest vehicles i've ever done on the channel and honestly video just doesn't do this car justice you really have to be here in person to get the full effect of this car and the smell that comes out of it because it was pretty outrageous this dodge journey is a repossession so i have absolutely no idea how this vehicle got in this condition but as you guys will see the farther we get into this detail the worse that it gets because once i move the seats i discover a ton of mold there's also roaches in this car, which is pretty darn right disgusting. But as you guys know here at Mad Detail, we're gonna transform this journey back to its factory condition. So take a second and make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with your notification turned on. I post brand new videos every Thursday at 12 p.m. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and roll these before shots and get right into this disaster detail. And after getting the seats removed, you can definitely see what I was talking about with the mold. And I actually found some green macaroni in the back, which is pretty disgusting. I don't know how long it's been there. But starting off this detail, we're gonna start with getting all the trash removed, anything that is too big to be sucked by the vacuum. And then we're gonna go ahead and give this carpet a good pre-vacuum before getting it pulled out of the vehicle to reveal the thousands of roach eggs that are hiding underneath the carpet. After getting the carp removed, I'm now vacuuming up all the nasty dead roaches and roach eggs. And then we'll put the vehicle outside and bomb it like a thousand times. And then we'll put our ozone machine in it. In the meantime, we will extract the seats.
Moving on to seed extraction, I'm using our Mad Detailing Extreme APC as a cleaner, followed by a Milwaukee drill with a drill brush attachment. And for the extractor, I'm using my Mighty HP60 hot water extractor. And I will also repeat this process multiple times because these seats definitely needed the love and attention that I gave them. And my Mighty extractor was sitting there crying the whole entire time. This thing got ran for probably 10 hours straight doing these seats. And as you guys will see, some of the plastics are still dirty. And that's just because I don't normally clean those on camera because if I did, it would be like a five hour long video. So let me know down in the comments because there's a few things that I don't film. Do you guys wanna see an entire detail like from start to finish cleaning every single inch? Or do you guys like the videos how they are? Leave me a comment down below because I would love for your feedback.
I always get a lot of comments people asking what products I use and the simple answer to that is we manufacture our own car care products here in Sanford, Florida. So if you guys would like to try any of our car detailing products, head over to www.maddetailingusa.com. I also have the link in the description and you guys can try our car detailing products today.
So moving on to cleaning the interior panels of this car, I'm using our Mad Detailing Extreme APC. I'm following that up with our Mad Detailing Boar's Hair Detail Brush, and then I'm using a steamer to loosen up all this nasty roach film. And then I'll use a microfiber and compressed air to make sure I dry every single inch of these panels. And also I would normally use our Mad Clean, but since this car was absolutely disgusting, I went ahead and used our Mad Detailing Extreme APC because there is no stronger degreaser on the market. Like if you has haven't tried it, I would highly recommend this product. This is probably one of our top selling products besides our Mad Acid because it works so well and it's very dilutable. So moving on to cleaning the underneath the carpet, me and Cole are pretty much knocking this out together so we can get it out of the way to move on to the carpet. We're using our Extreme APC, a wheel brush, the steamer, a vacuum, and some microfibers.
So the carpet had a ton of roach eggs underneath them. It was disgusting. So I'm not cleaning this carpet inside the shop for now. So the first step that I'm doing is I'm hitting with a pressure washer and then I'm going back with our extreme APC and a drill brush. I'm gonna pressure wash them out, but later on in the video, I will go back and extract them. So that way I can make sure they are 100% clean before they go back in the car.